Hello guys, Hatred Elemental back once again with Draco Soda's Air. Ten hook! And we're going after Tank Man. Who? Black Dive Man will salute you. Respect. Respect the cannon, man. We have five lives, a good stage theme, and we're overall well prepared. These enemies, which aren't... Oh. Those enemies back there, which... G-Soldiers. Let me just show you again if I can. After a while, they will shoot you naturally, but if you shoot them in the body, their head will pop out, and their head is the only part that's weak. Mines that will explode if you get too close to them. And Met Tank! <laughs> that's so adorable. It's basically a Metar with tank treads for feet. this bit of energy, even if it respawns that one Metar. But come on, it's a Metar. Yeah. A new kind of mine, which will pop up and explode into a barrage of shots. Basically, just walk under it and stay on it. That's all you need to do. Laughably, most... Laughably, sometimes they'll even drop power-ups. If you get those enemies at just the right positioning on the screen... You can shoot them, and their head will pop up and their hitbox will appear, but they will not actually shoot you. And shoot- you probably saw those shield attackers there. They have spikes now! Speaking of spikes, spike drop incoming. And they also shoot from behind when they turn. Shield attacker S, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ow. Take the hit and go spike dropping! Obligatory spike drop. A new kind of sniper Joe, which is actually surprisingly threatening. Sniper Joe E? e? Or S, I can't tell. I don't know. Anyway. Tank! <laughs> Tank Joe. I, I just find that funny. Tank! Kill it! Negatory! These. How are we supposed to get over there, you say? Boing! Boing! Conveyor belts on the ceiling that can throw you around and stuff! That's fun. However, they can also throw you back and just be an overall pain. Mega tank! That shoots metars! And large shots that you have to slide on. And two sniper and two sniper joes come from it after you defeat it. So, yay! Let's go. Yay! God, I'm so used to speedrunning this game that I that I don't have enough time to comment on stuff that's going on. That's why you have me. Right? Yeah. Had to be kind of quick about this to grab the ladder. Mm. Now this could be potentially problematic, and something stinks here. It's probably a dog. Probably. A dragon, a sorcerer, and two dogs living in the same environment. Yeah. I live in a cave that I dug out in the backyard. Well, I just stay there. If you, if you take this conveyor belt track it for out, it throws you into a pit! <laughs> I didn't jump in time. <laughs> I lost a life going for a life, so now to get that life back, I've got to go after the life that I died trying to get, and that's a good example of what they can do and how they can mess you up. And you said this game wasn't all that much. I never said that. Did I? Like, the game, don't get me wrong, is incredibly punishing. I'm just good at it. It's the Mega Man game that I'm best at. Because I played it so much. And still do. And you know, it actually feels like a Mega Man game. Boom! Mega Man does all his own stunts. I want that. Ow! Ow. I don't like that. I want that. Mega Man tanks all the hits. Not funny. Another strategy I learned. Ow. If I could actually go down the ladder, that would have been a good strategy. But since I can't, 
that just allowed a Metar to land on my head. Which is the opposite of what Goomba-type enemies should do. Metars aren't Goomba-type enemies. They're the Goomba. straight. They're the Goomba of Mega Man. I guess that makes the gamers and zoomers the Goomba of Metroid. Totally. I disapprove of that notion, sir. Oh well. You're free to have your own opinions. Mm -hmm. Ah! I did not want to slide there! Controller is trying to get you killed. No, it, that wasn't the controller. That was my fault. For once. So, obviously, you can sneak your shots through the Sniper Joe's shields in this game. Oh! Yay! Got it! Pretty good opportunity. Never mind. Boss gate. Boss time at full health. Hello, Tank Man. I salute you. This looks intimidating, but it's overall not too bad. You just need to know what he's doing. Interesting how he can fake you off like that, though. Yep. He's incredibly pattern-based. He won't fake you out the second time, though. Out, first hit. Right, where did I get hit once before? I wasn't paying attention. Tank Man is down! It feels good to actually be using a controller again as opposed to the keyboard, like, keypad, like I was using in Rock Force. You were good, son. Real good. Maybe even the best. But from Tank Man, we get the ever so delicious tank arsenal. Pretty much exactly what he was using. And oh man, is it useful. Sometimes. How many bolts do I have and what can I get? Stuck up on lives. Get another one of you for good measure. Because it's always good to stock up on lives. Otto's favorite customer. And that brings us up to eight. We're close to nine. Story time. I ran a few more tests. I've never seen anything like this. It seems some kind of virus is completely rewriting the, ro the programs of those robots. So that's why they're so hostile. I've gotta stop them! Be careful, Mega Man. The virus seems to be transmitted by even being in con- by simply being in contact with the infected robots. Teleport away! That's odd. He has defeated four of them so far, and, and still hasn't shown any sign of infection. Well, that's what plays when you defeat four of the eight Robot Masters. And, I think I actually am going after Rainbow Man next. And, oh dear. One thing you need to know, if you don't already, Rainbow Man is the Quick Man of Mega Man Unlimited. Yep. Instant death, multiple variations of force beams, I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh, this should be fun. But, with that, this is Hatred Elemental and Draco Soto Zero signing out. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Rainbows do not make me cry. They do with me! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.